Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. And in this video, I'm gonna cover the Keurig K-Express. And it does just that. It makes a quick cup of coffee in around a minute. Now for folks who are not familiar with Keurig coffee makers, these are single serve coffee makers, meaning they'll do one cup at a time. And they take these disposable K-Cup pods. You could also use, depending on the model, you could also use regular ground coffee, something which I'll show a little bit later on. Now, at the time I record this video, it's mid-December, and the price of this unit is anywhere between $65.99 to $69.99. I've seen the prices jump around just a little bit. Remember, it is December, it's the shopping season. But that's what you could expect to pay. The height is 12.6 inches high. The depth is 12.8 inches deep, and the width is 5.1 inches. I'm gonna give an overhead shot, just so you guys have a look at that. At the base of the unit, we have this drip tray. This is the drip tray cover. I like uh, the ridge design. That's removable. And the drip tray, or the drip plate, if you want to call it, pulls on out so you can clean it. And slides back in with ease. Plastic. But nice design. On the right-hand side of the unit is your control panel. Power on and off. Three select options, or I should say fixed options, for 12, 10, and 8 ounce cups, and you have a strong option. Also, an add water feature to let you know the reservoir is almost empty. We're going to look at that in a second. And when it's time to descale, that light will illuminate. And you, that's when you give it your um, little vinegar wash. I'm just going to turn this around and show you guys the water reservoir. Now, this is a 42 ounce water reservoir, it's removable. And you'll fill this up, you'll select anywhere between 8, 10, and 12 ounces, and it's going to dispense it from this. Some other units, some other models I should say, allow you to just take like a 10 ounce cup or a 12 ounce cup, even up to a 14 ounce travel mug, pour the water in, and it will dispense it from that amount that you put in. This does not do that. This, you, um, it dispenses it from a reservoir. And that just pops in pretty easily. I'm going to fill that up soon. Now. About the cup sizes, just to give you guys some scale, this is an 8 ounce cup, this is a 10 ounce, and this is a 12. So these are the options that you'll have. So I went ahead and filled up the water reservoir. Pop that open, just give you guys a quick look inside. And what you do is you take your K-cut pod, pop it in, and you just close the top. I'm going to do 10 ounces. Oh, actually, you know what? I know I just showed you guys the 8, 10, and 12 ounce size cups, but I forgot an important point. If you're going to select, like in this case, 10 ounces, use a 12 ounce. Because I found during testing that it fills it up all the way up to the top. So if you're going to drink, if you're going to drink it black, that's fine. But if you're going to take milk, leave yourself some room. I'm going to time this as well. Just want to show you guys how quick this actually makes a cup. I'm impressed with this. And to start it up, just select what ounce size you want and press it. It's the timer, a minute, and it's almost done. Try not to do any cuts. All 
right, so I see around a minute. That took a minute and a half. 90 seconds. And it pushes 165, so that's good. Trying to get it focused. Nice hot cup. If you followed the channel long enough, you know I do this to get an idea of strength. You guys can't see it, taste it, so that's why I do this. And if you're going to buy a Keurig, it's going to come out strong. Even with like a medium roast, you're going to get a strong cup of coffee. Mm, yeah, that's nice and hot. Nice and strong. I didn't even use the strong um, option. I really don't feel the need to. During testing, I can't tell the difference for when I use that strong option. I just can't. And as far as time... It's like an extra 15 seconds using the strong option. But yeah, that's it. That's gonna, we're gonna test it with some coffee grounds because I wanna show you guys that. But this is a very impressive unit. It makes it up, and I said like in the intro in around a minute, so 90 seconds. That's pretty quick. It's hot, it's strong, and it's very convenient. You have company over two, three people. You don't wanna deal with a big 12 cup pot. You could just make. A cup at a time and you're good to go okay now if you're using ground coffee if you don't want to use the disposable k-pods this unit allows you to use ground coffee but you do have to purchase the universal my k cup reusable filter separately and this is what we're going to be using now to remove the k-pod adapter remove it from underneath be careful when you do this because there's a sharp needle on the top and there's a sharp needle inside pop it out from underneath that's it and it comes out easily don't grab it from inside because as you pull it up you could hit the top of your hand on that needle and it will cut you so for this ground coffee test we're going to use um the 12 ounce option this time two and a half tablespoons of ground coffee remove this part Put it in the adapter, put the lid on, and just pop it in. That's what it should look like. And use the 14 ounce mug. And if you want to use the strong option, just select that first before you um, hit the cup size. And that lights up, and we're gonna use, we're gonna hit 12. I'm gonna time it as well. Notice how it spurts. That's what it does when you select a strong option. So it's supposed to do that. So that took that took two minutes for the full 12 ounces and using the strong option. Still very quick. It cooled down, it's been a couple of minutes, but that's using the the cave cup pod and that's using the ground coffee. Both medium roast, I use the eight o'clock and the chock full of nuts. So that's gonna conclude this video. I thank you guys for watching. I hope you found it interesting, hope you found it helpful if you're looking to purchase this unit or just wanted some idea on how this Keurig works. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I definitely appreciate that. Please like the video, that helps the channel. Please subscribe, and I'll see you on my next one.